Hey, YouTube. I want to show everybody this uh, cool little nifty trick in your garage, you know, if you own your house. And, uh, you know, here's my uh, Tacoma Taco uh, Forerunner. And, uh, you know, the blinding LED light tri paddle. Upside down bikes. So, anyway, uh, what I wanted to show everybody is. If you've done this, great. You know, uh, I've done this in you know, previous houses, and uh, you know, it's great for storage space. That uh, you know, like you know, I got these cabinets that take up one whole side of the wall. Um, they're about two feet deep and go all the way up to the top. And uh, I got just tons of junk up on the top too. I got to get rid of. Uh, but anyway, so uh, these cabinets, you know, they're pretty deep and, and long. All the way to the one whole side, and they bolt onto the wall. Uh, but uh, anyway, here it is. So basically, you just go to the, your local hardware store and get some angle brackets. Uh, so this is the main beam that goes across the, the garage right here. You can see. And then show you a little bit over here. Garage light. You can see the whole beam right there. And I'll put my hand in front of it. There's the whole beam. Here's my garage door opener, which is mounted to that beam. It's a little bit better. Anyway, so you just get uh, some angle brackets. You get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, wherever the heck you can get them from. These are about um, a couple of dollars each. And um, I think it's like an 8 inch by 8 inch L. And then, uh, so you get uh, two of them. You can see the other one over there, mounted to the beam. And then what you do is you get, you see where I'm going with this. <laughs> you get, uh, so that's two over there. And then over here you get uh, two of them and use a bolt to hold them together. Or a couple bolts. And then over there on the other side, you can get a couple more bolts over there. Hold it together. And put them into the studs on this side. And uh, you see right there, there's my ice chest just sitting up there. I don't get anything else over here yet, but uh, you know, trying to figure out what to put up here. It's usually stuff that you know we don't need to touch for a long time. Um, uh, usually like, like like the ice chest, you know. Uh, if we need to grab it real quick, we just you know, just stand on the. You know, Stand on the tires, climb up here, and pull it down. I got enough room for the garage door opener right here. So I can just pull it down as my old dirt bike boots. I don't know what to do with them anymore. Sold the dirt bike, so CR250, you know, Honda. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, L brackets. And then, um, what you do is you get a so this right here is a sheet of, this is 4x6. Uh, it was a 4x8, picked it up at uh, local Lowe's. Um, I don't know, with this, uh, you know, thing going on, um, they're saw cutting machines. Um, they haven't been using them since, you know, a couple months. I keep saying they're broken. I've gone there multiple times, Home Depot, Lowe's. I don't know what the deal is with these people. Uh, they don't want people to, you know, work on stuff in their house. They just want people to stay curled up in their house like a little cocktail shrimp in the corner. Um, you know, it's just ridiculous. So basically, I just, I have a skill saw. I just thought while I was there, you know, they can cut it. And I was saying, you know what, forget it. I'll take it home myself and cut it. Obviously, I messed up. Uh, I was just kind of still a little frustrated. And then um, you just, you know, slide this piece of plywood up there. Uh, you can see how thick it is. I think it's 15, 30 seconds. Is the thickness of it it's not very thick? Uh, it's just you know resting right there. And what I did is you can see like this side, um, this side right here doesn't match this side. Um, the beams that were going across, there wasn't any attachment point right there, so that's why that's there. So that side is a little even, but this side for some reason is not. And you can see, and I, um, not all these holes in the roof are mine. Some over the previous owner. <laughs> So I noticed that they were looking for a hole too because 
uh, when I moved in here, actually this bracket, these two, this bracket and that bracket were already there. So it looks like they were already having an idea to do this. And so what I did is I found, okay, they're not exactly where they are. It's still good enough. And I can just move it around. And um, it's got room over there on that side. If I could have used the full 4x8, but I wanted to use the, uh, the 2x4 uh, for my solar project. Um, building a little shed box that I can just uh, mount the uh, charge controller and the uh, uh, inverter on. Uh, and keep it outside because the inverters get the fans are constantly running they get a little loud and then also put the batteries in it too um, these little uh, deck boxes that people have uh, that you can buy they're expensive like two three hundred bucks and you know for you know eighty dollars of wood you know I get you know some two by two foot by four foot and then two by fours and you know make a little frame and a little box and you know, get a couple of hinges and do it yourself and you know to be self-sufficient and just this you know this <laughs> but uh anyway just wanted to show this off and if you guys have already done this you know great job you know great idea you know this is not rocket science you know it can be done yourself um like i said if you mount on this beam right here you're going to hit wood uh, no matter what it's this side over here um and another way to do it is you can actually um, put a one by one across uh, right here to where it'll touch a, a, a wood and then you know wood screws anchor them in with some bolts and then um, you know mount this to that that's another way to do it to where you're guaranteed you're going to hit wood across uh, and that's the thing is you just have to you know hit wood if you've got wood <laughs> um, oh here's another thing so uh, I have a uh, tonneau cover that uh, you know, I had to go get the wood. So there's my tonneau cover over there. Um, I forget what it is, Triflex one. Uh, anyway, here's how they mount it in the truck. So I had to take this off and um, go and uh, get the wood. And uh, so four by eight had laid down, lays down from you know this side right here over there fits perfect. And I got my two tie straps. I tied it down. Anyway, here's how it's mounted. If you can see this, uh, it uses this bracket that sits on top. See the edge right there, the cushion. And then they mount their rail on this. This is all soft sponge. You can hear it spongy. And you see all along there. And so they, they basically take ownership of the rail, which sucks because uh, you can see my quick fists over there where I had to, you know, use. Uh, One bolt for the uh, brackets and the uh, uh, quick fist, but it works. You know, it stays under the tonneau cover. And uh, then you have this little um, thing that comes up. If you want to, uh, it's a mount it to uh, keep it up. If you want like a wall behind you, like if you're going to carry stuff, and otherwise, I just take it off. But uh, yeah, so I don't have any rails access except for you know like I said under there I have to just kind of figure out how to slide the bolt the the, the bracket I slid it under the where the bolt is the little t-nut and then uh, obviously there I have you know no access to the to the front rail and then what they do is they drill a couple holes right here it's kind of dark maybe you can see it over there you see this little tube right here and it goes right down in there Sorry for the darkness. Darkness is coming. <laughs> there you can see the flexi tube. And that's for when the water collects in the rail. Right here. And then it just goes down in here and drains and drains outside. Uh, it's been out in the rain. Uh, maybe a few drops will show up in there. But uh, not much shows up in the... Uh, in the bed of the truck with the tonneau cover on and you know it seals and you know like I said I put this pop and lock on there and this thing works great uh, you can see my clearance in my garage pretty good uh, profile of the truck and the tires sticking out a little bit 
back tires sticking out just a hair. It's perfect with those spacers on. Spider tracks, 1.25 spacers. And the front actually sticks out a little nice. It's got a little pre-runner look, you know, with the front uh, on there. But uh, all in all, you know, TRD Sport. Back clearance. But yeah, this wood panel, 4x8, cut it down 4x6, or heck, whatever size you want it. You can do a 4x4 four four if you want it smaller. Uh, haven't done one on the other side. Might do one on the other side. So, anyway. Um, let me know what you think. If you like it, don't like it, let me know. Comment below. Please subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.